Katie. In today's video, you ready? Ugh. I am going to be going through my travel day bag or my overnight bag. It's really both. A lot of you guys know I've lived in this car on and off for nine years at this point. And this is the bag that I have filled with all the stuff that I would bring if I'm staying at a friend's house for a couple nights or if I'm going to be showering at the gym. You know, that kind of bag that you have all like your toiletries and stuff like that. And so um, it's it's packed. It's packed, but uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm really excited to show you guys. I know some people, especially when they live in a car, their toiletry bag might be this big. It might have four things in it. I'm not like that. I'm a little more excessive with certain things. Uh, I'm such a firm believer in when you're traveling, when you're living in a car or whether you're living in a house to own things that you love and that you use. And so everything in here I love and or use most of the things I use. I think there's a couple things in here that um, I just put in in hopes that I will use. But yeah, so. If you're curious to see what's in this giant day bag slash overnight bag slash travel toiletry bag slash whatever, please keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna take my shoes off. All right, so again, this is like, it's my day bag. So it's more than just like my shower toiletries, but that's included as well. So my shower stuff, my hair stuff. Um, and then obviously when I'm, you know, going into the gym or something like that, I would throw my towel and a change of clothes in here, but everything else is in here. So let's just get started. First of all, I have had this day bag for a while. If you've watched my channel for a while, you have seen this bag because I got it years ago, years ago, three, four, five years ago, I don't know, but a long time ago from like TJ Maxx or something like that, they probably don't have it anymore, I'm sorry. But the brand is Burger, at Mickelson and it's this material um, so it can get wet and it's not ruined, you know? Um, all right, let's just get started. So there's a lot of stuff in here, but also the reason that it's so packed is because I kind of put everything that I would potentially bring overnight or bring during the day in here. So like most of the time, this is not this filled. I'm just letting you know, it's not an excuse. Most of the time, this actually is not this filled. I just wanted to show you like a ton of stuff at once. Like, first of all, um, I have my makeup bag in here right now. I went through this a couple weeks ago in a video. So if you want to see that, I will have it linked. Um, but this is just my travel makeup bag. Usually I keep this next to my day bag, just kind of like on the floor um, or in the front seat up here. So that's usually not in here. The same with this. This I've shown in a couple videos recently. Um, this usually just lives like in between my seats because this is stuff that I use whether I'm in the car or whether I'm at a friend's house or whether I'm at the gym or whatever. I use this stuff every single day. And so this is just a little rough enough bag. I really like this bag. I think it looks very cool. So I have in here, I have some deodorant. I really love native. You guys know that, but I also like the love beauty and planet deodorant. This is my favorite scent, the refreshing one. And so obviously I use this every day. And so I keep that with my toothbrush and my toothpaste. And then I also keep these in here, the O'Keeffe's working hands and healthy feet. You guys know, I've talked about this a million times. If you have dry skin, you need this, especially this one. Like if you have dry hands, cracked hands even, get this, please get this, get this. And then I also have the foot lotion one as well. But yeah, so I just generally keep this little bag in between my seats. But obviously if I'm gonna go stay with a friend or if I'm going to shower at the gym or something um, and use my toothbrush, I'll just take this whole little bag and throw it in my day bag. The last thing I have in here, oh, is a pair of earrings. Okay, so. I've already talked about these earrings, I think like a month or two ago. I love these earrings. These are Ana Luisa. You guys know I've worked with Ana Luisa for a long time at this point. Most of the jewelry that you see me wearing is Ana Luisa. For example, these earrings that I've worn in the last few videos, Ana Luisa. Um, so I do want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video because I definitely always have their jewelry with me, whether it's in the front seat of my car, in my day bag. I have some in my other bigger jewelry pouch. I have it everywhere. I did just get some new ones. Do you want to see? Um, Ana Luisa is a business out of Brooklyn and you guys know that I'm from Long Island so like I feel like we're like sisters um, but they just make like some of my favorite jewelry honestly like I really do wear it all the time and so this most recent order I got all earrings and I'm very excited if you see me wear jewelry I generally wear pretty like classic kind of pieces sometimes I'll wear trendier pieces but generally it's classic -y kind of hoops or studs or like basic chains um, and I really like yellow gold and Ana Luisa just has a ton of classic pieces and then they also have some more trendy stuff so depending what you like they probably have something in the category that you like so I'm just going to I forget the name of these so let me just pull it up on my phone these are called the G-I-U-L-I-A Julia I got these earrings probably two weeks ago and I think I've just slept in them since then. 
because I love them so much. So I have those. I also got these. These are the Gia studs. These are so cool. They're like little J's, but they like hug around your ear and they come in like the cutest little bags. And they're definitely like reusable bags. Like, anyway, I also got these. These are the Tia Medium. And then the last pair I got are called Cuidado. And so these are just another type of hoops, but they're more like raindrop or is that what they're called? Teardrop? And if you have like a second hole or a third hole, you could super layer these like really easily. I have a second hole. And I tried to put these in the second hole today so I could wear one of the bigger pieces in the front. Um, but my second hole on this ear is totally closed up and I cannot repierce it. But anyway, if you have a second hole or something, like wearing a pair of the bigger hoops in the front and a little pair in the back or something, so cute. And of course, you guys know that I have a discount code for you guys. So I have a link in my description. If you click it, you will get 20% off. And then you could have a little dance party with me. And they, guys, holidays are coming up. Make a great gift. They make a great gift. So anyway, thanks again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. And I just want to keep showing you what else is in my day bag. Okay, so I have some simple. Um, these are the micellar cleansing wipes. I use these to wash my face and or just like rinse my face in the morning if I feel like yucky, you know. I have my straightening iron in here. I just purchased one of these and it was such a good purchase. It was like $5 or something from Walmart, I think. But I purchased one of these like um, heat protective sleeves. So like say I want to straighten my hair somewhere, but I have to immediately leave. I don't feel comfortable just like taking my hot straightener and putting it back in my bag. So I got one of these like hot sleeves. I don't know what they're really called. Hot sleeves is what I'm going to call them. <laughs> so I have my hair straightener in here and then I have my hair dryer. Um, this is an Amazon hair dryer and I really like it. I think it's like a Dyson dupe because it kind of looks like it, but this is the Barboz, B-A-R-B-O-Z. It's like 40 bucks. I really like this. And then I have this. This is my main actual toiletry bag. You know, again, like the rest of the stuff in here was like my makeup bag and my hair tools and stuff, but this is my main toiletry bag. So this is what I would like bring into the shower with me essentially. And so see, if you thought I had a lot of stuff, I mean, I do, but <laughs> it might be less than you think. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, this is one of my favorite purchases that I've ever made for living in a car because this is obviously a um, like a toiletry holder thing. You know, I put shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and face wash in here, but I love that it has this long lanyard and you can just like flip this over the rod and kind of make just like a little slip knot kind of thing, I guess, like put this through and then pretend my arm is the rod and it'll just like hang and it's perfect. Obviously you could also put it on a hook if there's a hook in whatever bathroom um, or shower you're using, but this is one of my favorite purchases. One of the best purchases that I've made. I have my shampoo conditioner in here and then I keep the body wash in this one and my face wash in this one. And then I just keep the bigger sizes of these in my trunk. And then when I'm out, I just refill them. So I have that, I have a razor obviously. And then also for my face, I have these two face scrubs. I know some people say that like physical face scrubs are not good for you. I've used them for years and I love how my skin looks. So maybe it depends on your skin or what you're looking for, whatever. But I have the Pacifica Pore Warrior Soft Scrub. Love this one. And this I've been using forever. This is like my OG. This is the Derma E Deep Pore Acne Scrub. And I like using these together. Love them, love them, love them, love them, love them. Okay, so I also have in here, I have this. I've never used it. Please let me know if you wanna see me use it in a video because I think it could be funny. This is the Wishful Chin Lift. It's supposed to sculpt your chin. I just thought it was such like an interesting idea. You essentially just like, it's like a face mask, but you put it on your chin and I think you like, you hook it on your ears and it's supposed to like tighten your chin, your jawline. I don't know, but let me know if you want me to try this out in the video because I haven't used it, but I think it's interesting. I have a little face razor for peach fuzz slash my mustache. So just one of these little razors. You can use them for your eyebrows and stuff as well. And then I have like my skincare. So I use a lot of the ordinary, you guys know, because I've talked about that a few times. Um, so I have the hyaluronic acid, which you have to put on damp skin. You have to put this on damp skin. So basically when I get out of the shower, I don't even dry my face off at all. And I will just put a couple drops of the hyaluronic acid on it. Let that kind of sink in for a few seconds. And then I'll use the niacinamide, which has been like a game changer for me and my acne. This has helped a lot for my acne, like a lot, a lot. Then sometimes I will also use the buffet. I also have the ordinary natural moisturizing factors plus HA. I will not repurchase this. This is a moisturizer, but my skin is pretty dry and this is not heavy enough 
for my skin. It doesn't really help with my dry skin. So it might help if your skin is a little bit more oily or something like that, but I have the Pacifica Dreamy Youth Day and Night Face Cream. A day cream is still just something that I'm kind of looking for a favorite. Everything else I have, I know I love, but I haven't found like a day cream that I love. This one's good, I like it, I will keep using it, but I don't know if I love it, you know? And then you guys know that I love the Pacifica Overnight Mask in like the blue tube. I ran out of it. I know I have a backup. I literally ran out last night. I know I have a backup. I have no clue where it is. So that's fun. I also keep a little thing of Dr. Bronner's Castile soap in here. I have the unscented. I don't like extra scents in my stuff for no reason. I have the unscented. I use this to wash my makeup brushes or even honestly like to wash dishes and stuff. I use that. I love that. And then I also have just a little thing of hair 10 in one complete leave-in. I like these little ones. Like whenever I order from Sephora, which is not often anymore. You guys know I used to makeup shop and skincare shop a lot. I don't do it as much anymore, but whenever I order from Sephora.com, I always have like those extra points. Like as you rack up points, the more you spend money, you'll rack up points, right? And they always have little like hundred point perks. So sometimes they have these little like hair treatments and stuff for like a hundred point perk. And I grab them sometimes because they're just so much more convenient to have in here than like a full size. And then I also have this, the Living Proof Full Thickening Cream. This I actually like paid money for. I don't know if I notice a difference from this. I think I have to use it more. But anyway, so that's what's in here and also some dental floss and some cotton swabs. So that's what's in like my proper toiletry bag. This is like the one that if I'm just going into a shower or something, this is what I'll take because it's my actual shower products and then my skincare products. So that's what I use. Okay, and then I also have the Skin Repair Body Lotion by O'Keefe's. You guys know, again, I showed earlier in the video that I love their hand cream. This is like their body lotion version of that. I don't use this as often, so I cannot say if this is incredible or not. The hand cream is like ride or die. I will never be without that the rest of my life. But I also have this and I have this in there because I do have dry skin. And then I also have a headband. This is from Amazon. I think it came in like a three pack for like $13. Love this. I think it's so cute. And then I have a little tiny little hairbrush. I have my contacts and I just keep them in like this little separate thing just so they're separate. Oh, I have the charger for my toothbrush because it's an electric toothbrush. So I have that in here. I have a tiny little, tiny little curling iron. Are you ready to see this? It's the tiniest, cutest little thing you've ever seen. Look how tiny, look how cute. I don't know, I'm holding it so weird. Look how cute that is. So I have this in here. I don't really curl my hair very often anymore, but this takes up barely any room. And so I figured that I would just keep it in there just in case, just in case I wash my hair and I'm like, I need it to be curly today. I have my curling iron. And the last thing I have in here is this little extra bag of stuff. I really have been enjoying keeping things in bags when they can. Obviously there's a couple things that are left out because they're bigger, but I've really been enjoying keeping smaller things in bags to keep them organized. So in here, I just have a couple more things that don't exactly fit in my toiletry bag. I have this extra little conditioner. I, okay. When I dye my own hair, I use the Clairol Natural Instincts hair dye. It's not permanent. It only lasts like 28 washes, which for me is like three years, but <laughs> just kidding. But it just like fades out. So like you don't get a harsh line uh, when your hair grows out and stuff, you know? The conditioner that that comes with is incredible. It's incredible. So I just have some of that in here. I also have a little like dry shampoo. I think this is a texture spray that's basically empty. And then I have the Perfect Hair Day In Shower Styler by Living Proof, which is cool. I have a little thing of uh, mouthwash and I have a giant scrunchie that I love that I got at Target. So just a couple little extra things. Oh, and a Verb um, Ghost Oil that I really like. I really, really like this as well. Just a little hair oil. So just a couple other things in here. Things that I have and that I wanna use up and I wanna try out and stuff like that. So I just keep that in a little separate thing in here. And then, yeah, I think that's really it. Just in the little zipper compartment, like on the inside in the back, you know, I have some tampons. I have one of these, um, there's a hair in it one of these like massager things for your neck. You know, I have a bad neck and a lot of the times my muscles right here are really, really tight. So I actually just bought this um, to kind of just use to like push these muscles. But yeah, that's really it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you're subscribed and thank you again to Anna Luisa. Please check out the link in my description to check out 20% off their whole site. Yeah, I love working with Anna Luisa and I love their jewelry. So thank you again for sponsoring this video and please go check out that link in my description if you just wanna check out their jewelry and if you want to get a little discount. So yeah, thanks again. I really hope that you're subscribed to my channel for more travel lifestyle content. And yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Thanks again and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.